Jelena. Check this out. Oh my gosh. Got that dinner. thing is huge. Got dinner. Yeah, you did. Yesterday we were uh, driving through here and right when we got to these sunflowers, we saw a nail, guys. Well, believe it or not, I got one. I think something's wrong with my old freedom stick here because uh, it ain't working too great, but I got it, so that's it. So let me go show you real quick. So as you can tell, I got this. He is a male and uh, with nail guy, it's very hard. You have to hurry up and get him. So they'll run off so I wasn't able to film it which I couldn't show on YouTube anyways but this is a nail guy um, not a large one but it's a little bit older male than that baby we got I absolutely did not plan on coming out here today and getting one of these nail guy I came out to get some more wood for the path and it just happened this guy came out so as you can tell it's a pretty big creature this is, this is not even as big as they get so this will feed us for sure for the rest of our trip here and uh, feed my family and friends and stuff. So don't think we did this for sport. I know a lot of you people are gonna say we just did this because it's like an exotic game, it's for sport. It is not, this is a necessity. This is food in our freezer and this was solo. I came out by myself. If I was trying to get one of these, Jaylena would be here because this is gonna be a struggle getting it back to the camp house so by myself <sighs> so i gotta try that so now being a responsible um i don't want to say the h word but a responsible freedom stick meat getting american i'm gonna do the right thing and take it back first i gotta gut it here i can't show you that and then that'll lighten the load and then i gotta stick it on the front of the jeep and take it back in so don't think we're gonna waste anything. All the stuff that I pull out right now, coyotes and hogs and stuff like that will eat it. And then when we get back, um, I'll have to process the animal, which I don't think we could show or we won't get monetized. So I'll show hopefully getting this thing back. But if not, just know this thing's gonna fill our freezer and it's gonna help us more than anything. Chances are I won't show you any of that. So guys, I know some of you are gonna be mad, but that's the reality of life if you eat meat you got to do things like this and if you live out here on a ranch this is your way of food so we're putting meat in our stomachs in our freezer feeding family and friends like i said it's what we do
Whew. That took a while. I have never used this winch to lift anything this big, so I sure hope it works. Great, that's as high as it goes. So now I gotta try to hook its head and pull it back towards the Jeep. Whew, I'm already drenched, guys. It's early in the morning. I brought one bottle of water with me. It's not what I expected. Not the best rope, but I think it'll do. I'm gonna tie it around its head and horns, pull it back that way, see if I can't wrap it around. It's hot. It's be a lot easier with two people. I might try if I have some more rope or something. Tie the legs up. But man, I don't know if I have anything. Alright guys, I am just drenched. I am dead. This is the only bottle of water I brought. I had to use a little bit to clean my hands. Oh, No one could say this is just trophy hunting because I would not go through all this to get a head or a pitcher. This is for the meat freezer. I know a lot of vegans are going to be P.O.'d when they watch this but the reality is this is life and uh if you can't handle this i feel bad for you that's all i gotta say uh, i respect your um your morals for not wanting to kill an animal and stuff but this is my lifestyle this is the ranch this is something i grew up on this is something people have been doing for a long time so hopefully you respect my wishes as well and you'll probably still leave a nasty comment it's okay you probably left a nasty comment before even watching this so i'm gonna try to get this guy back to the camp and I'm sure Jaylena is freaking out where I'm at I've been gone a long time I told her I'm just gonna go cut some logs be right back didn't bring the radio like a dumb dumb didn't bring any water I swear this was not a hunting trip this was just get some logs and come back it just so happened that this no guy came in front of me and I just can't pass it up it's gonna fill that freezer up it's gonna feed me my family and my friends like I said earlier so literally I thank God for this animal and I will not disrespect it and waste it. I will eat it. So I'm gonna head back and hopefully get this guy there. Jaylena! Check this out. Oh my gosh. Got that dinner. thing is huge. Got dinner. Yeah, you did. So. I think that's the biggest one you've ever got. Um, I've shot a bigger one. The one that we got last time when we first started vlogging was bigger no. than this think so yeah it was it was real dark black this is a, a male not a baby but younger like the one you and jared got this is smaller hmm. look stand next to that thing it's huge i mean i wasn't there when you guys got it so but uh yeah I, how do you feel about this of course like i've said many many times you know i give thanks to the life that has brought us dinner but this is gonna feed us literally the rest of the time we're out here and our family and stuff. Jason's grandma, we're gonna give some to her, his parents. So I'm excited for to have the meat in our freezer. I thank God because I did pray about it. And so I'm very, very happy. Well, you're gonna be pretty surprised. Why? That was not scripted at all. Cause Jaylena, if you give her something to say, she can't say it good. 
when I was over there, I said, literally, thank God for this. <laughs> and I said, this will feed our family and friends. This is not for sport or anything like that. And so pretty much everything she just said, I said earlier. Well, I was on the phone with my mom because I get to talk to her now. I, I worked out and I called her. Um, she had called me during my workout and I called her back. And she asked where Jason was and I said, he's out um, doing something. And I said, you know, we saw the nail guy the other day and you were gonna go maybe back over there and I didn't wasn't sure, but I was saying that, you know, she asked something about like, why would you, you know, kill the nail guy and stuff. And I was just telling her that this is, it's not, it's not for sport. Like this is how we eat. Like this will fill our freezer. And she's like, yes, I understand. And I said, well, it's either we do it naturally here or we go to the grocery store and get something pumped full of chemicals. Yeah. And it's like those animals are probably raised much worse. These are out in the wild and they get to live their lives how they live their lives. And we yep. thank them for the, for the meat that they provide us when they provide it to us. And I got a good clean uh, through the neck so I mean he instantly fell didn't suffer didn't mess the meat up so now I need to go hang this guy in the tree and spray him down and uh, let him let his blood come out um, and so uh, yep I'm drenched in sweat uh, luckily it's a lot cooler today than it has been the so, sun I noticed wasn't out as much no, today it was overcast until recently and the crazy thing is is this morning when I went and filmed I was filming and I was planning on doing a voiceover over everything and talk about pretty much there's things out here that are alive, there's things out here are dead. It's just the cycle of the, the ranch and it just so happens this came along for today's video. <laughs> so it's like everything in the universe came together today and I couldn't be more thankful. The vegans will not be. We, we actually paid this nail guy to pop out and so we could film it for the video and- Yep, it's green screen. Yeah. All right, I gotta go do this. All right, guys, I'm back. I had to uh, change clothes, take a shower, get all the gunk off me for messing with the uh, nail guy. But as you can tell, I cut all these. And what I'm gonna do is I'm a visual person. The first video we put out in landscape, everyone said, put a whole bunch. The second video, everyone said, leave it as is. So since you guys can't make up your mind, I left it up to you guys, left it in your hands. And y'all basically, didn't know what you wanted so i'm going to go ahead and do a little section of it maybe just right there in the middle and uh see what i think if it looks good or not and then you guys can kind of check it out and then we'll vote again so we can all be nice and visual and see it let's get to it of course this ain't gonna be perfect i'm just trying to uh get an idea here what it's looking like kind of get an idea of course I do know it would be a lot more work than this I'd have to go in level them out real good because as of right now it just doesn't make sense because it's kind of uh, like that kind of wavy but we would have to level them out as good as you can and then put sand in the middle so I'll put sand on some of these like in the middle of the gaps to kind of get an idea but I'm not gonna do too much in case I don't like it. So I guess I'll do that real quick if I can find the shovel. So that's kind of what it looks like, which yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, it's not even at all, but it kind of gives you a glimpse of what it would look like. Well, I can tell you guys right now what I think personally. I don't, I don't think this is a good idea 
for just what it is in general. I think like Jason and I were talking and he said if it was mortar, like a cordwood house would be amazing and it last, but this just isn't gonna last. We're gonna have to replace these big pieces of wood. The small pieces of wood are gonna rot even faster. So I say no on the smaller pieces and just keep the big ones, keep it simple, keep it easy, or as easy as it can be for our budget. And yeah, that's just what I think. So I'm not really trying to be that guy, but they say, well, you say, happy wife, happy life. Eat your words. So uh, as good as it looks, and if it was mortar, I would probably personally keep it because it looks cool and I really, really, really love the cordwood house um, concept. I actually want to build a house that way. It would just be one of those things that takes us years to get done. Um, but I absolutely love the way it looks. But practicality on this is not so great, I think. Um, if it was actual mortar in there, I would say, let's go for it. It's worth the time. But with sand, it will get washed away over time. Yeah, it just wouldn't last as long as it it wouldn't last as long to make it worth it. We'd have to replace it very often. Yeah, so, but on that note, you guys said if it rained real bad, the uh, sand would get washed away. Well, this is after a rain. Yeah, it rained really bad and it's been thundering. It, it looks like it might rain later. But check out the, um, the drip edge over here. As you guys can see, the rain comes off and then there is some drips along here, but it's all the way out at the end of the uh sand here so that's probably right where the logs would be it'll hit and i did it that way so when it hits it hits the logs and splashes over it'll water whatever it will water whatever is in there but we can just replace the logs once it gets hit and all that stuff with water so jaylene is over here yawning what are you yawning about what'd you do today she's been inside just playing house all day while I've been out working like a man getting meat for the freezer and working out here. Uh, first of all, I did my workout for an hour this morning and then I cleaned. And then I cleaned the litter box, which is a whole event in itself, which was not easy after my arm day. Yeah, well, I did arm day by gutting an animal that's three, four times the size of me. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so let us know what you think about the pathway. Um, we gave you our input. Like I said in the beginning, the first video, everyone said, add more. Second video, everyone said, don't add any. So thanks YouTube for being unreliable when it comes to your opinion, because it's one way or another. Guys, I did not expect to get that nail guy today, but it gave me time to check out this stuff and I could think it over again. You guys can kind of think on it. I'll look at it all day, but I need to deal with this nail guy. Jaylene has got to go do some more Some video stuff. for my channel. Yeah, if you have not subscribed to Jaylene's channel, what is it? Jaylena Crocker. And that's pretty simple to remember. It's almost as simple as Jared Crocker. So if you want to go to Jared's channel, check him out. We'll link him down below. Or you can just Google, or not Google, you can just search <laughs> Jaylena, J-A-Y, L-E-N-A -E for all you guys that don't know how to spell it. But go check out her channel and Jared's channel. Um, maybe we can even somehow get some of this no guy meet up there for the grill master. Maybe. We'll see. That would be exciting if we could. Yep. So guys, thank you as always for watching. Make sure to smash that like button. Wait. Subscribe right? button. Both. Yeah. Both, both of them. And make sure you put notify all because YouTube is making changes. And yes. so if you haven't done it already, do it now. Yep. And, and thank you to WeBoost for our cell signal booster. 4G. We had no service. Now we have 4G. So if you are interested, it's down in the description. Everything you need to know is down in the description. Yep. So we'll see you guys tomorrow.